Okay, question 5.3 asks, what is the result of this circuit when run on the unitary simulator? So the unitary simulator, what it's gonna do is it's gonna give us the full unitary of the circuit or the unitary matrix that we get that relates input to the output of, of um, our system. So uh, before running it in Qiskit, let's go ahead and look at this analytically. So let's do here question 5.3. And uh, let's draw our circuit. So we have Q0, Q1, and then we have um, two X gates followed by uh, a Z gate, right? So a Z gate. There we go. And the way we're going to do this is we, we can break this into into two separate parts. So let's first analyze what is the unitary of applying two X gates, um, one to to each of the the two qubits. So let's call that U one, and uh, that is going to be equal to well um, the X matrix tensored with the X matrix, right? And that is equal to, well, we're gonna get, um, you know, the X matrix is given by 0, 1, 1, 0. And again, tensored with the same 0, 1, 1, 0. And this is gonna give us um, a four by four matrix, right? And, and the easiest way to do this is we break this into four separate sections. And, and the way we calculate it is by taking this matrix right here and multiplying it by each of the elements of the first matrix and placing them in each of these quadrants. So, so um, for the first element, uh, we have this whole matrix multiplied by zero. So we just get zero, 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 right? Then in this quadrant right here, we get the same matrix, but now multiply by one. So we get zero, one, one, zero. Same in the lower uh, left corner, we get zero, one, one, zero. And then in the bottom right corner, we get, uh, since we're multiplying by zero, we get all zero, 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 zero. So this is our final matrix. Um, we can kind of reorganize things here to make it look a little bit better. Uh, just move this here. Um, so that's that's what we get for U1, which is you know this part of the circuit. And then um, for the second part of the circuit, what we have is on Q0, we have um, a Z gate. And then for Q1, well, this is this is like applying an identity matrix, right? So so we can replace this down here just by an identity gate, um, and we call this this whole thing U two, and we can say okay U two, and again following the uh, Kiskit convention, right? We have to make sure that uh, we understand that on the top we have qubit zero and on the bottom qubit one. So the right order to, to do this multiplication is we have first the identity tensored with our Z matrix. And this is equal to one, zero, zero, one. And then tensored with our Z matrix, which is one, zero, zero minus one, right? And uh, we do same process here. So uh, top left corner, we get the C matrix uh, multiplied by one. So we have one, zero, zero minus one. On the bottom left, we get all zeros. And then on the top right, we get all zeros again. And on the bottom right, we get that, ident uh, that Z matrix again, one, oops, sorry. One, zero, zero minus one, right? Okay, so now we have U1 and U2. And uh, now to get the total unitary, well, what we need to do is multiply this two. But but here, uh, the order is very important, right? When we're, when we're um, 
Working with quantum circuits, well, this U1 gets applied to the qubits first, followed by um, U2. But when we're going to do this analytically, uh, well, if we're going to find our total U, we need to do the multiplication uh, actually uh, the other way around. So, so since um, we have first, we would apply um, U1. U1 has to be on the right side and then u2 on the left side because when we multiply by a state vector let's say i don't know psi well first we do this multiplication and then we do this multiplication right so so uh, in the circuit we have u1 on the left side but um when we're multiplying these matrices u1 has to be on the right side right so then uh this is going to be equal to uh, basically just these two matrices multiply, right? So we have uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 0, 0, 0. That's, that's uh, our matrix U1. And you see, I made a mistake already. This had to be on, on the right side. And then here on the left side, we had U2 which is one, zero, 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 zero minus one, zero, 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 one, zero, and then zero, zero, zero minus one, okay? So when we do this multiplication, well, um, what we do is first we start and take this row right here and do a dot product with this column right here, right? So we do, you know, this one times this zero plus this zero times this zero plus this zero times this zero and the zero times plus this one. That's just gonna give us zero, right? And and we go ahead and repeat all that. So uh, we move we move now one column for the next element, um, and what we're gonna find out is we get again zero. Uh, for the next one and zero for the next one and then one here uh, and if we keep going down the line right so basically for our next row we just move down here and re redo this process um, what we're gonna end up fighting is uh, finding is that uh, we get zero zero minus one zero and then zero one zero zero and for the last one minus one zero 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 so that's our total u um, our unitary for for our circuit so now let's go ahead and implement this in in uh Qiskit. so let's move here back to our notebook and uh, let's go ahead and first uh, import everything we need so we know that we need from Qiskit quantum circuit and we know we are gonna need the execute command if we want to do it um, using it. But as we saw in the previous video, we don't have to, but we'll do it this way this time around. And also we need to import the uh, air provider, which has the uh, simulator, the, the unitary simulator we need to use. Uh, next, uh, we need to, um, from Qiskit uh, visualization, we're gonna import uh, array to LaTeX, and this is just for me to print things a little bit uh, nicer. We don't have to do this, but we'll see. We'll see. It, it's uh, handy. Um, sorry. From Qiskit, import quantum circuit. Here we go. So now let's create the circuit. Uh, so we have um, a circuit with two qubits. Just to remind you how it looks like: two X gates and a Z gate. So we have QC X on qubit zero and qubit one, and QZ Z on qubit zero. And then let's draw that. There we go. We got our circuit there. And now let's define our simulator. So let's call it U for unitary simulator. Um, and then we do air dot get backend. And here we do unitary simulator. And we do, as usual, 
generate our job, which we do with the execute command of our circuit and using the backend uh, equal to our U simulator. Next, we get the result, which we get from job. Oops, sorry, job result. And then we define our unitary as result dot get unitary. And then what we can do is uh, print it out with this array to LaTeX function, which is pass u. And here we go. Here we see that we get the same result with arrive analytically. We have this um, diagonal term of minus one, one, minus one, one. And if we go here to our options, we, th we see that option one has those same components and everything else is zero. So that's our answer, answer is one. And um, that's it.